Subscriber Sweepstakes Update. You must be a subscriber to be eligible in submitting to my first Subscriber Sweepstakes on June 1st for a chance to win a personalized 15-minute audio from me and more. Details in the description below. Hey. Hey, sweetheart. It's okay, baby. I'm right here. It's okay. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Slow down. Baby, baby. Baby, you're all tied up. It's okay. It's okay. Just shh. It's all right. Everything's gonna be all right. I'm taking very, very good care of you. Of course I'm taking good care of you. Look, I got you all propped up comfortably against the wall here. And sure, your wrists and ankles are tied up, but only for the time being, okay? I just gotta get you safely across the board. Easy, easy, baby. Don't, don't try to struggle, sweetheart. It's only gonna make things worse, all right? So just, just relax. Feel relax into it. We'll be there in no time, and we'll be safe. Oh, oh, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. You don't remember. Wow, those drugs must have hit harder than I realized they would. Oh, baby, you must have been on an empty stomach. What have we talked about as far as meals are concerned? You gotta eat, regardless of how busy you are, so... <sighs> this is gonna be a lot for you to catch up on, but... Everybody's looking for us, boo. We are all over all the different medias. <sighs> and I'm so sorry, you know, my, my past caught up with me and old habits die hard and I never wanted to get you involved in any of this I just I needed you to be a part of my life baby of course you're involved in this we've been spending time together one on one you look like an accomplice in the crimes it's okay honey it's alright we're gonna be out of here soon. We're gonna be safe, okay? You're safe. You may not feel safe right now, and I understand that, but you certainly will understand soon. Oh, you must be woozy. Here. Let me, um, it's okay, just... <laughs> Don't fight it. These are very, very tight. I've got plenty of friends where we're going, and you're gonna love it. They're baby. It's beautiful. You can do whatever you want to do. Mm. No, sweetheart, you can do whatever you want to do in this new life. Your responsibilities, baby. You have so many of them. Oh, here, let me, here, let me kneel down and help you steady your head. Oh, you must be so dizzy. so soft. Shh, it's okay. You don't have to be afraid of me, sweetie. It's me. You've got nothing to be afraid of. I'm right here. Baby. <laughs> Come on now. Let's not pretend like you could have made a move like this on your own. Sweetheart, you never would have broken away from your responsibilities. <sighs> Look at you. Always the martyr. Let me ask you something, sweetheart. And you don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. I understand. I do. I promise you I do. But just think. What responsibilities do you feel shackled to? Hmm? What responsibilities do you feel shackled to? You have so many of them. And what people in your life 
What people in your life do you feel obligated to save? Family, friends, strangers, even colleagues. Who are the people in your life that put it on you to rescue them? And what environments do you frequent because you haven't any other choice in the matter? Honey, I know very well there are so many places that you do not like to go, but you feel so obligated to. Or maybe you have to even, or so you think. What environments do you frequent because you haven't any choice in the matter? Environments even you truly are forced to frequent. And what ambitions are you driving through? And what ambitions are you driving through what seems to be a dead end? Yeah? I know, sweetheart. I know that one can hurt, but... I just got a few more questions. Okay, you've been through so much. So, what self judgments? What self judgments do you carry that you would like to shed? Hmm? And what external judgments are you plagued by that you'd be relieved to escape? Come back to maybe community now. What aspirations do you neglect for fear of failure? Everybody has some fear of failure. sweet and you deserve so much more, sweetheart, under what work conditions do you suffer for survival's sake alone? Oh, you work so hard. Oh, you work so hard. You poor thing in this and inside this just head of yours, sweetheart, have you ever wanted to adventure? Hmm? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe, have you ever wanted to explore? Escape the circumstances of which you were born into and carve out a life of your own vision? That's not a tall order. It's not. Let me be your guide about that vision. Let me be your guide in starting over, hand in hand. Let me pull you away from all of your anchors and show you a whole new life of freedom and agency. I do, I understand how uncomfortable, how uncomfortable you must feel. I understand these shackles strip you of your agency, I do, and that breaks my heart, baby, but 
somebody has got to do what's best for you when you are so confused. We've talked about dreams, but I never told you that my dream genre actually changed as my life did. See, I used to dream about vampires. I was... I wouldn't say... I wasn't so much a fan of vampire content, but I was certainly captivated by the prospect of vampires in existence. And I realized quite quickly that the appeal of the fact that despite my disliking vampire media content, I was constantly dreaming and fantasizing about interactions with vampires and quite specifically the seduction of a vampire presence and I realized very early on that to be the result of wishing to escape the life I was living. The ideal that a supernatural being that can do just about anything and is indestructible, lives forever, fully liberated. Well, arguably, only liberated at night, depending on what privileges a vampire may have during the day as far as day walking is concerned, but <laughs> I digress. It's a conversation we can have later. But, I mean, what I'm trying to say is regardless of all that, I think the great appeal of vampires to most people, I can imagine, comes down to the great appeal of escapism. And quite specifically, the escape with a liberated being to an immortal exciting life. You know, whether... You know, it's funny, I never actually dreamt of turning, but it didn't matter to be running with an indestructible, immortal being that had my back, that was willing to support me and be by my side and forcibly remove any obstacles in my way of anything I wanted. Anyone who got in my way as well, they didn't stand a chance, right? Vampires don't care much for humans. Of course, despite the ones they like, and if you're chosen by a vampire, you essentially just have this extraordinary, not only escapist resource, but security guard in your life forever. And I think between the protective fantasy, the protection fantasy, and the escape escape fantasy, therein lies the great mass appeal of vampires. Vampires sell in millions upon billions of dollars a year, and I think those two reasons are why. Let me be your vampire, baby. <laughs> Let me turn you. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. That was that was an insensitive joke right now. I know you're not feeling up to it. I'm sorry. Oh, that face. I do just want to eat you. Oh, sweetheart, I would never, I would never kiss you without your full enthusiasm. And let me tell you, honey, there will be plenty of enthusiasm to come, I promise you. Look at you, sweetheart. You're run down. You're tired. 
once, just this once, let somebody else take care of you. Shh, don't be scared. I've got you. Here. Here, just lean your head on my shoulder. It's okay. Shh, I've got you. I've got you. Just let me stroke your head. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. No need to struggle. No need to struggle. The shackles are too tight. Just shh. Just relax. And just relax and enjoy the ride. You have nothing to be afraid of. Oh, baby. And I wish I could take the edge off otherwise, but I promise you, sweetheart, we're almost there. And once we get to where we're going, everything will be coming up roses for you, baby. I wouldn't have it any other way. Shh, just relax now. I know the drugs are still coursing through your system, sweetheart. It's okay to just take it easy and trust. What was that? What was... Hold on. Sweetheart, it's... I'm sure it's nothing. I'll take care of it. What was that? Okay, listen. I'm gonna go check in on that. You just stay exactly where you are. You're perfect, baby. Everything's gonna be just fine. What was...